even surpass the town. And that's a pretty remarkable statement to make. Thank you, Chris. Alicia Ashley was saying that when she came in, she said she wanted to fight. And that's something that you can't teach, you know, box, you can't teach them heart. It's like, all right, you can't fight, you've got to learn how to box. So I think, you know, above and beyond, and, you know, Heather, she's got the heart. She wants to fight and she wants to win. And, you know, nothing's going to run her down. In the back then? So one moment, and congratulations to both. One moment that I thought was particularly beautiful or just funny that you captured was when Lou came over and said, you don't have to worry about, you know, you're going to be on the card. And Heather said, well, now we can go. Um, <laughs> for anyone who's trying to accomplish anything or, you know, any business owner who's trying to do something and be noticed, there's always that, that thing, right? You're trying to do your work. And at the same time, you're hoping people are noticing you. You wonder if they, if they notice you. Heather, how do you do this work, right? film now and make sure that, you know, Lou is noticing you, make sure that the right footage is being captured. But then you have this focus. You have to focus on your craft in the gym. And how do those things figure in your life and how do you focus on doing the work despite all the hype or through all the hype? Um, I think whether it's boxing or anything else you do, that you have to wear a lot of different hats. You know, I have to be a mom 100%. And just because I have a job, doesn't mean that I can be a mom halfway and have a career halfway. So just as important as it is to be a parent and to be a fighter who wins to succeed in this sport, you have to market yourself, you have to sell tickets, I, I, you have to, and, and all those things require 100%. So I think anyone who's focused at um, or dedicated to achieving a goal needs to know that there are a lot of different things you have to do and you really can't half-ass anything. No, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's, a great, that's a great answer. Um, well, uh, this question is for Natasha and Heather. Were there um, now that the film finished and now it's in front of audiences? Um, what What was the most surprising thing in the journey? Um, not only in making it, but now seeing it on the big screen in front of an audience. And this question is for both you and for Heather. Surprising, like well. I think also a challenge for us, a surprising challenge was, um, I mean, we, we flew with you 24-7, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything, and, you know, through the tears, through winning, and I think for any filmmaker, it's important to know when to stop filming, when to know when it's time to stop and when it's time to start crafting, so I think as a filmmaker, that was my biggest challenge. Yeah, and I think for me, my biggest challenge was because I never did anything like this before, I was like, when can I be like, could you just leave me alone for a day? <laughs> where, where is that line where I could say, I really love you, Natasha, but can we do this tomorrow? Yeah. You know, because like you said, it's, it's worrying about selling tickets. Am I going to get on the next flight? I mean, you saw what it was like with my sister trying to, you know, keep the house and the bills and everything. And like 30 things would be going on. And Natasha would be like, hey, I got a film crew for tomorrow morning. Can we make it happen? And having to adjust and do that through such a long period of time, I mean, that was kind of taxing. But at the end, we knew that we had a greater mission to tell. We yeah. had a story to tell. We wanted to change, you know, the way when people see women's boxing, the way people see women in general. And so we stayed true to that mission. And so throughout it, I mean, not to give you props who were in your face 24-7, <laughs> like 10 minutes before a fight. <laughs> so, but, but I think we, we, you know, succeeded and we were able to go through that mission. Great. Uh, time for one more question right in the center here. I want to congratulate you both. That was a wonderful uh, film. As a former, a a former athlete, I can appreciate how you capture the, uh, the commitment without the guarantee of the result at the end. And people often miss out on that in a society where the end result determines the effort we put in. And uh, that shot of you waiting for the bus at dawn at the end of the dark uh, speaks highly to your commitment. People really can't relate to that. It's not guaranteed that something comes of it. You this for yourself, so I commend you both. Thank you. Great. Thank you for kind words. Uh, thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we hope you see you at some more movies here at NYC. Thank you so much.